Uh, uh, there we go, there we go. Right there, see him? There he is. He sees a bug he might eat for us. <laughs> Did you get that? That's awesome. <laughs> Join me, Mike Clarkson, on Zilla's one-of-a-kind adventure care series, Beyond the Glass, as we study the wild relatives of our captive bred pets in order to better understand how to care for them. Let's go beyond the glass. Welcome to the grasslands of West Africa. Here we get a completely different group of animals than you'd find in the highlands or the tropics. That's one of the amazing things about West Africa. The different biomes provide totally different animals. Today, our target's a very cryptic species, the graceful chameleon. So, let's go grub some grasslands and check out some trees. And maybe find some shade, it's hot. One thing about the grasslands is there's not a lot of shelter. This is both a pro and a con. The grass hides a lot of animals that are really difficult to see. Finding anything in here proves a bit trickier. But the animals that need shelter from the sun will all be in the few trees. Great place to look with concentrated wildlife. So this is where the chameleons are gonna be. This is where all the wildlife is gonna be this time of day because it's so hot in the open grass. Oh, sorry little fella. <clears throat> Almost stepped on you. <laughs> so this is a bell's hinge back. The reason these tortoises are called hinge backs is because they have a hinge on the back of their shell and they can close up this area behind their legs. Very distinct looking tortoises, the hinge backs. These guys are in threat from their grasslands being converted into farms and because locals will capture the tortoises. And when someone's thought to have a demon or evil spirit in their body, they'll cast the evil spirit from the person into the tortoise. And then the tortoise takes the evil spirit away out into the grassland. So this, kind of the exorcism tortoise, which is kind of awesome. All right, well, he was enjoying some shade and unfortunately I gotta get back to the sun and cover some more ground. So I'm gonna let him on his way. There you go, little dude. All right. Good luck with your demons. I love the idea of people responsibly going out and observing wildlife and reptiles where they're at home. But if you're gonna do that, you have to be smart about it. This habitat is perfect for things like puff adders and spitting cobras that could ruin your day. Literally one wrong step and boop, no foot. That's why proper foot protection is essential. Devin, that's not proper foot protection. Uh, uh, there we go, there we go. Right there, see him? There he is, and he sees a bug he might eat for us. <laughs> Did you get that? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Come here, little fella. So this is the graceful chameleon. Graceful chameleons are closely related to the Senegal chameleons, but it's the actual flaps on their head that distinguish them from one another. When they're upset or disturbed, they get that kind of signature black spotting you've seen before. But right now, she just ate a meal, she's chilling in her tree, she's not too upset. So a chameleon's color changing ability isn't quite what a lot of people think it is. It's not like you put it on plaid and it's gonna turn into plaid. It works with light. Some chameleons will change colors for defense. And if they're not feeling well, they might go really dark. So the chameleon's color, it's kind of a mood ring and it's a good indicator of your animal's health. Another cool thing about chameleons is their eyes can look two directions. They're not always looking at the same thing. One eye will be looking behind them, one eye will be looking in front of them. But when they're feeding, they lock both eyes onto their target and whack. Let's see if I can find a grasshopper. I'll give him a prize for being such a good little star here. Oh, there's one. Alrighty.
That's my shirt. <laughs> Where is he going? Oh, oh, oh. self wrap. Self wrap. Well, little dude, you've been so good. I don't think I'm gonna hassle you for taking off. I appreciate your time. Might be graceful, but not very grateful. We give him a free meal. Come on. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take my measurements. So just like our little graceful chameleon friend, I'm going to find some shade for this because it is really quite warm out right now. Now it's not as humid here as it is in the forest or the highlands because it's wide open, the humidity is just going straight up, but it's still pretty decent humidity. It is significantly cooler here in the shade than it is over in the sun. The UVI readings vary between the total shade, the total sun, and the kind of the branch area we found them in from 2.2 to 9.2. I would say chameleons are something that need an incredibly high amount of UV as an option, but also with enough space for them to escape it. That would be important for them. Cool animals, really, really cool animals.